you've had that army kind of a background uh you know your family has been did you ever plan to join the army as well so i've got a hint of it a jhalak of it that's why i feel like whenever i read a script uh, it's so oh, it's a real life character real life hero uh i think that's inspiring to watch sid with shersha there was a complete perception change about you mm. right i mean don't get me wrong i love all the singing dancing and the commercial stuff that we have with it yeah but uh, maybe when it comes to action it's always cool to know that it's somebody who's done it in real life or a thriller that you know it's inspired by real life event because i have to ask you have you ever been majnu in real life and uh, what's that point you know in the school years college years kabhi to kabhi kuch majnu ke tarah kya kiya hai i am inherently more private um, but pehli baar dil jab toota tha majnu ka to did it hurt how did you deal with it first time do you remember i find it sometimes a waste of time to really uh, let those feelings bog you down Okay my love for him I don't think I need to really describe it in words and people can say whatever but I really really admire the human being that he is and I have known about Mission Majnu from the time he signed it and this is one film that I've been so excited about I just got to see the trailer I don't know if you're going to get to see the trailer before uh, the video uh, comes out but it's kick ass so welcoming Siddharth Malhotra in conversation with me only on Bollywood Bubble hello hello I got What's to watch up? your trailer and it's like intro. wow you killed it Thank you. I have to tell you that um Sid with Shersha there was a complete perception change about you mm. right in terms of um how you are and how you are on screen as well. Um there was a time in life where people had said a lot of things about you and you told me that there's a fire in your belly to prove them wrong. Today when you've done that do you somehow feel validated because these movies have also come in quick succession. No absolutely I think uh, when you get so much love for content that you've really backed and you know put your money on and it's uh, something that uh, you also want to answer all those uh, uh, chatter that happens now very frequently um it feels very um, uh, gratifying as an actor as a performer that uh, you know you could make people think and feel certain things uh, uh, you know so many people messaged me that they were crying at the end of the film yeah. and they remember so many moments uh, whether it's a song whether it's a performances or scenes uh, we still get so much love for uh, shersha uh, so feels great yeah absolutely i think that's uh, that's one kind of uh, uh, you know it, it you have to break one barrier uh, i think and 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 lot of people were pleasantly surprised and once you break that barrier now the the you know scope is endless Uh, That's true. And uh, we are back again with, with our Mission next Majnu. film with Mission Majnu on Netflix, uh, which comes on twentieth of Jan. Uh, you know, very very soon. So uh, this is uh, again an attempt to break that barrier even further, uh, because even in this, um, I play a character which I haven't before. That's true. I'm playing I'm playing That's a spy. True. I'm playing a spy for India who who's uh, undercover in Pakistan, and I'm a darzi. I'm an undercover darzi in 1970s Rawalpindi, Pakistan. Uh, and, you know, so I think it, it's 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 um, it's always very interesting to take up challenges. I have always tried it. I mean, you've seen it on my films. That's true. Uh, to take up new roles and new challenges, and um, mm. here is another attempt, which is I think it's very entertaining. Uh, at the same time, to see this guy play act all through in Pakistan uh, for the country. Uh, there's romance. There's uh, patriotism. There's entertainment. and uh, it gives me a chance to portray uh, another kind of real life hero uh, even though they are unnamed uh, because they can't be because of their profession um, so yeah i think this did you this meet this person no so it's not based on a particular individual uh, it it's is a mission it's a true yes incident. it's a mission that india did in the 1970s to protect our borders to protect the geopolitical system happening there uh, from our neighboring country uh, it's how we uh, they kind of derailed another country uh, a neighboring country from uh, creating a nuclear power yeah. illegally so it's it's a mission without any names because you don't have names in public domain and they can't give you details so we are inspired by true events and uh, i'm really excited to show because i feel spy playing a spy is so interesting because they are the that's true true absolutely true performers absolutely you know, they are like if they uh, if they make a mistake in real life they don't get a second take and it's gone and you're gone and i think uh, their training or their play acting is is you know surpasses any of the best performances in the world because 
they are living it they are living somebody else's life completely no matter what background they come from they could have to go to another country and just imbibe so, true. so many new things um, so it's uh, it's been great i think it has a lot of those new moments for me as an actor and i'm very excited about it you know i have to tell you that yesterday i met this uh, person whose father fought the kargil war Mm. and when i told him that today i'm going to meet you mm. he told me that please please tell him that uh, you know the way it was shot whatever they showed it was exactly how it happened and uh, then of course he had seen your teaser mission majnu and i think everybody has now put you in a space where they want to see you in such films you know like ek hota hai na ki sharukh sir bahut sari movies kare par ek romantic movie mein unko dekhna log pasand karte i feel today when you're doing a yodha you're doing a indian police force and a mission majnu mm. you made that space where these movies and these projects are also working in your favor have you have you noticed that around you that chatter um yes i think it wasn't so planned but yes post sharsha yeah. now it all kind of makes sense uh because it's it's gradually going into that zone of playing real life heroes um I am also maybe personally attracted to such scripts because I like these characters where I can tell someone ki you know this really happened yeah this is what they did you know this is what they really did it kind of makes you feel cool that if you're seeing something on screen yeah. that you know is inspired it's it's something that's happened in the past is documented somewhere and it makes it for me as an audience at least a very intriguing watch um and yeah I'm pretty much wearing uniforms and I mean, you know all one, of that this one i'm not wearing uniform at all because you're yeah, inspired to feast the purpose and you know yodha is a fictitious film uh, but there is a kind of a uniform there and then indian police force is obviously i'm playing playing a uh, delhi police character for mr rohit shetty uh, which i'm personally very excited about because i think uh, so am I. he presents men uh, especially in uniform or otherwise in a very very heroic hindi film uh, way which i grew up watching yeah uh you know and i think he is the best with that sensibility and and uh, you know it'll be one of the uh, biggest shows to come on ott so we're really excited about it do you also feel that you veer towards certain roles like these kind of roles because you've had that army kind of a background uh you know your family has been uh, serving for the nation do you think that it comes from there did you ever plan to join the army as well uh no i we never planned to join the army we maybe checked if we could join the merchant navy like my dad but i realized that we have to take science in 11th and 12th both my brother and me we were like pretty much we were very very average in studies what did you uh, take up in i was commerce without maths then i'm i'm what a science you? student you're a science student wah respect but 94 which people don't really believe also because a chart journal mera bhi wahi hone wala tha ki correct you scored 94 <laughs> yeah I wow. did. Wow. I and did then biology. Oh wow. So then I I had no such scores in my in my in my school years. So then I opted out of merchant navy. But army yes has been an influence um, my my grandfather who served in it still passed away very early when I was really young. Uh but my dadi was there till uh, the last decade uh, of last 12 years. And uh, she told us a lot many stories about how it used to be you know he served in the indo china war he even got injured and and what it feels like when you don't know at that time there was no yeah. technology uh you know they used to only hear the radio as to what is happening at the battle so there's a lot of uh, uh, emotions that a army family goes through uh so i've got a hint of it a jhalak of it and uh, that's why i feel like whenever i read a script it's oh it's a real life character real life hero uh i think that's inspiring to watch as well so i feel it's it's very interesting to i mean i mean don't get me wrong i love all the singing dancing and the commercial stuff that we have with it yeah but uh, maybe when it comes to action it's always cool to know that it's somebody who's done it in real life or a thriller that you know it's inspired by real life events a lot of those fans have asked you that when are you going to do another romantic film after this because most of your films right now are action thrillers or in the action space but they all have romance like we also have we just launched a song rabba janda yeah. so sweet and it's it's there it's that old school 70s romance in in you know pakistan rawalpindi and and uh, uh, rashmika somebody who plays visually impaired and so it's it's unique the dynamics become very different very innocent um yeah, but yeah i think i don't think uh, romance has ever been uh, not not been a part of my film shersha was a part romantic come action thriller uh, for me the know. takeaway was your and the love story love story which is a major part of the film yeah. 
Uh, no, actually, you remember I told you after Shesh also that there should be another separate like a film on Dimple and um, you know. Well, you never Shisha's know. Character. We never know. I mean, maybe uh, you know they approach her, should. but uh, knowing her, she's very very private and very emotional about uh, the subject yeah. and uh, this story and what the incidents that happened. I don't think she'll want to do it, but uh, I think I. as long as people remember uh, their love story fondly, our job is done. I want to ask you this, that um, this is called Mission Majinu. Mm. So, before I watched the trailer, I was thinking, why is it called Mission Majinu? Uh. Okay, I thought that, okay, it's because of the love story. Maybe he's going to save Rashmika in some situation or whatever. I was thinking of all of that. When I didn't know about the teaser or the trailer, today I saw that it's called Mission Majinu because that was the name of the uh, operation that was given by India. But because I have to ask you, have you ever been Majinu in real life? And uh, what's that point? You know, in the school years, college years, kabhi to kabhi kuch Majinu ke tarak, Kya kiya hai, zindagi mein? Everyone, I think, in their early years, uh, Delhi school and college is a lot of Majnu Giri. That's true. I, my, I woke up to, I think, having, I was in all boys school till class 10th. And 11th and 12th, I changed my school because I wasn't getting this commerce and science and scores was a big problem and I was almost flunking. And uh, so I changed the school into a, a co-ed school. So at that age, in your teenage, to go from all boys to suddenly having a, a, a girl sitting next to you as a classmate was like a very eye-opening. <laughs> and then there was a giri Ashiki jo shuru hui, wo khatam hi nahi hui uske baad. Aur kya uh, kiya? Of, uh, oh, I mean, I think school romance is again so innocent and it's so, uh, you know, unique that you do so many things that, uh, you know, you would, you would sneak out of your house to meet somebody or, you know, you, you would... Um, uh, get in your school uniforms and watch Hindi movies. I remember watching at that time in Chanakya Puri, you know, Dil Chata Hai, the first time we watched it in yeah. school. Um, which I think is very important. I think it's, uh, and even in college, I think the, I keep saying this, I think the, even though it's a wonderful college, Bhagat Singh, Delhi University, but uh, the, the, the most uh, apt thing that I learnt in college was driving. Um, <laughs> but it, it I, the, all the experiences that I got, uh, was all thanks to uh, me being able to drive and learn and then take my second hand car, my friends and and uh, female friends at that time. So I think which 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 has been such an integral part of uh, my upbringing and uh, which sometimes comes out in movies or sometimes in some other storytelling or songs. But pehli baar dil jab tuta tha majnu ka to did it hurt? How did you deal with it first time? Do you remember? I don't. I think. Uh, Tootna is a very harsh uh, thing, but uh, yes, obviously, yeah, I think you realize at that age, you realize something which is fizzled away, something that compatibility is not happening. So I was a little more pra pragmatic one, maybe at that end. So I've never, really, not really had, uh, yes, disappointments, but not key complete heartbreak, depressing. Have you ever thought of this, that um, there's so much of you which is not let out to the world? Um, sometimes when you feel bad or when you feel emotional, is it... Is it like a defense that you have where you hide your emotions and you don't let people like really see those bad days? When people say something to you, something about you, when it affects you, do you, do you kind of guide, guard yourself on those days? I'm inherently more private um, and I think that's the way that my personality is and I don't like to pretend. I think any pretense to me seems a little unbearable. Uh, so then I think I have to lead by example and not pretend. Um, so yeah, I think yes, there's so many things that I would not want to tell the other. Uh, also, I think it comes from me living by myself for the last 15, 16 years in Bombay without my family. Uh, so I feel like if I would have um, really gotten um, affected by so many things that people say or people do or things that happen in my life, uh, it's a form of self-motivating, yeah. you know, to kind of curb it. It's okay. What people are saying, like, you know, let's, let's block it. Maybe sometimes it's not good to keep it in. Uh, but that was my defense mechanism to not really show it outside so that I could move forward and, and do the next work or job or, or audition or struggling at that Didn't time. Didn't it ever get to you? Um, yes, of course, of course it gets to all of us even in the last 10 years in the business. You know, so many ups and downs that you see, so many people that you meet. Um, so you learn uh, with the process but again, maybe it's, it's you know, part of my uh, being independent that I felt like I can't, I find it sometimes a waste of time to really uh, let those feelings bog you down. I think, you know, get up the next day and 
you know, let's start your day with some kind of movement, workout, and what do we do next? Find ways to you know, get over that issue and, and move forward. Lastly, I have to tell you this, um, that Shesha was such an exhilarating performance and so is Mission Majnu when I saw the tra tra trailer. I told your team, like the Netflix team, that, oh, you got one person for your round table next year. This is what I said. Ah, you better oh. come for mine too. I'm booking you right away. <laughs> okay. Because I think that this is going to be one of those films again where your performance will speak for itself. But at times like that, when people and audience feels that you've delivered the performance of the year, mm. but at a at a at a very prestigious awards, now uh, when you don't win an award, when when you don't get that award when, which you really and truly deserve, I'm not saying about other years. This year especially, you know, yeah. uh, people might say bias, but I would have said biasedly on other years as well. Yeah. I did a poll mm. on my Insta, and I think 80% of the people felt that you deserved to win. Mm. Does it? bother you at all at times how do you take that like when you know that you've delivered but you're not getting what you really deserve i mean there are many aspects to this um, uh, question or particular event that you're talking about uh, i think uh, firstly it has yes over the years when we were growing up it was less commercial yeah you know now you can't even take the name of the event without taking four other names of the brands. you know brands before uh, so it kind of dilutes the, uh, it, it, you can't ignore the commercial aspect yeah. behind it. Um, so that kind of makes you question how, is it popular, is it authentic, is it likable, who's liking it, what is it, what is the process. Uh, I mean, I don't know the details of it at least. Uh, but secondly, it, it feels great. I think that's a bigger victory of people really feel. And, uh, you know, you, that uh, they wished that ki I would get this particular award. Uh, because they feel that I deserve it, they feel that they lo loved the the film and performance. That I think that's 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 an equal, if not better, amount of victory. Uh, but in my personal, uh, you know, headspace or thing, I don't need these events to really validate it. I think the love itself is most validating. If yeah. I get that kind of love for somebody I meet or somebody or something I read or people send me messages, that is true kind of wealth, right? No one's gonna. Absolutely. Remember, especially in this door, because it's become so commercialized, I think the 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 essence of it is kind of diluted. Absolutely. We remembered for like uh, you know years, years later that you got this year. 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 That is more important. I have to tell you that uh, because it's also your birthday. Yes. In, in the in the week yes. that the movie is released. Yes. Yes. So I don't know if I'll get to meet you before your birthday, but because you keep making promises and you don't. Or what? Uh, so I have got yeah. something for you. Thank you. So uh, basically, this is for you. Oh, lovely! So come to you. I hope you like. Okay, so sweet. This is. Thank you. It's something. Thank you. Something Should Gulbonda, I open it now? Friends, yeah. So Two dearest. Friends run this that. company called Gulbonda. Oh, lovely. And it's basically you oh. and your mom. <laughs> so sweet. It's like. Uh, That's so sweet, yeah. How cool is this? How cool is this? This is so so sweet. My mom will be very happy. The, actually, the thing is that. Which is what. Those are miniatures of you and I know, I know, but I'm just like showing them the picture of what it yeah, is. But thanks to auntie uh, <laughs> for raising you uh, this well. And this. <laughs> Me and my mom. Yeah. I will but be giving it to her. Please do. So sweet. Thank, Thank you, you. Sid, for being the person Thank that you. you are. And Thank I you. always feel the most comfortable around you and there's no other option like you keep saying. Yeah. Uh, you have plenty other options, but we are not getting there. Everything I'm right that here you talking do, to you. What options? But I'm saying everything that you do yeah. uh, is of course way more personal and your successes always uh, seem a little little more personal than everything and everybody else's. And uh, yeah, with Mission Majnu, I know, which is coming on 20th of Jan, um, you will again prove a lot of points to a lot of people and I know that you will. Uh, once I watch the movie, I'm going to tell you and hoping to see you get the award that you deserve next year for Mission Majnu. That's all. Hope so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Always lovely chatting with you. Love you. Thank you. Done, guys. Bye.